G'day and welcome to MW Laser. Now we've got the COVID-19 virus going around at the moment and the government's asked us to stay at home unless it's necessary to leave. So we've got plenty of time to do some small projects around the shed. Uh, with your CO2 laser machine, you can create this uh, Connect 4 game to keep the kids occupied. Now I've just used some three millimeter MDF and using Lightburn software to design it. So here I've got the Connect 4 plan that I've uh, drawn up here in Lightburn. I'm not going to go into all the detail on how I created it, but there are some features in Lightburn which made it very uh, easy to do. And those are the features that I wanted to highlight to you here. So the, uh, the features that we're looking at are the Boolean commands. And we're going to look at two of them today, which is the Boolean union of two shapes, A plus B, and the Boolean union of uh, one shape from another. So we'll take one shape out of the other shape. So let's uh, show you here, if I just draw uh, a, an example, so this would be our game board. And if we wanted the tab that I created on the side and we wanted those tabs, I'll make them equal. So we'll just copy, copy this one down. So copy and paste. So first of all, we want these to align and um, be attached to the side of this shape. So we can select the two shapes here. And first of all, we want to align them up vertically. So we'll align those selected shapes vertically. And uh, I'm going to group those together. And now what I'm going to do is hold down the control key and select the other shape. And we're going to align those ones so that they are on the horizontal center. So now we've centered this along the top of at along the length of this long shape here. Now using the Boolean commands, um, we're going to add one shape to the other. Now to be able to do that, they need to be touching. Um, so we'll select all and we'll use the arrange, distribute and move the shapes horizontally together. So that brings those two shapes or those two sets of shapes together. So now what we want to do is select shape A and hold down control and select the shape B, which is this group. And we're using this uh, button here, which is called the Boolean union of two shapes, A plus B. So if we click that one, we'll have that, uh, those two shapes attached to the first shape. So what we're gonna do is uh, undo that for a second. I wanna copy this group out here. So I'm gonna copy and paste it. So we'll just uh, do that union again. And now if we wanted to take these shapes out of this uh, original shape, shape A, we'll align it up where we want it. So I'm gonna select the other one and we'll align it along the edge on the inside edge of that shape. So when this cuts, yeah, it would cut around uh, the square and then cut these out, but we could save time by removing this shape here. So what we'd do there is select shape A and then hold down control, select shape B. And we use this Boolean command down here, which is subtract one shape from the other. So it's the order that you select it. So A first minus B, and it would take those shapes out of. So that's sort of the principle that I went behind of joining these tabs at the side here, and also removing these tabs along the bottom. Similarly, I used the same commands when I added these shapes to the side of these pieces here. So I had uh, these uh, long spacer pieces and I'm just gonna quickly draw some extra tabs to go on the side. So if we go copy, paste, paste. So we align them vertically together. We can now use the arrange, distribute and space them vertically. So it will space them vertically along the side here. And then if we group that, copy it and paste another one over here. We could uh, align them up so that they're all nicely ready to go together. If we now select those three groups, which is one, two, three vertical groups, we could go to tools, uh, sorry, arrange, distribute, and move horizontally together. So now we've got these shapes here. We could just uh, select them all and weld it together. Or we could select shape A and then add shape B using the Boolean commands. And then we could then select the last group and join them together as well. Now, another tool that I use a lot with Lightburn is the grid array tool. Now this can be used just to repeat shapes. For example, we use the grid array tool here 
to make some columns and we'll set the spacing between the columns uh, at one millimeter each and we'll have say we have 14 columns there we go 14 columns and we need three rows so we can have them all laid out there so it takes up that space but if we want to use more of this space to reduce say the height of this board that we're trying to fit pieces in we could use the row shift so first of all we could row shift half the, the diameter of one of these circles so these circles is 36 in diameter so we could row shift that say minus 18 it would bring it to halfway and then we could reduce the y spacing down until they were getting a bit closer so save space when we're cutting out of the material now the other tool that I used to create this was the shape offset tool. Now the shape offset tool, I'll just take one of these counters so I'll show you how I set it up. For example, this counter was set up here to start with with my plan. I created these, um, I'll ungroup it so that we can see what happens when I create them. So I'm going to delete these inside shapes and show you. So I started with the counter shape set at the bottom where it's going to sit. I then use the grid array tool to make six rows. So those six rows were zero spacing between it so that when the counters are cut out and they're falling down, they will all hit each other. Then say okay. And now I selected um, all of these shapes together. And then using the shape offset tool, I went inwards by about three millimeters and asked it this option here which is delete original objects so I then delete those original objects and it gives me the shapes to make these on the to connect for um, boards front and back so basically I created one board and then I used the grid array tool to create a second one or copy and paste now you may have a board that's not big enough to fit all of this on and what you would do then is select the parts that you want and group those all together so I'll group each individual part that I'm going to cut out so just selecting all the shapes pressing ctrl G or the group button at the top here this is the one of the group of people I might want to group all these together so I could select those and then press the group button uh, all these inserts so there should be six of those so we'll group those together and then these last two shapes will group as well so once they're all um, grouped together, it makes it easier to then select parts that you want to cut. So you could save your original file. And for example, you just wanted to cut this board here. You could copy and paste it into a new file, or you could control A, select the group that you want and press delete. And you could then send that to your controller and cut that part out. And then of course, open up the file or undo that, um, that delete. That way you can select parts that you want to cut and those that you don't. And I'm going to be cutting these on smaller pieces of material. So I'll be just selecting the parts that I need to cut. So I'm using the uh, Trocen controller on the uh, CO2 laser machine that I built. And uh, this machine is a 90 watt CO2 laser. So I'm cutting out a three millimeter MDF uh, at about uh, 25 millimeters a second and 45% power. I find this good so it doesn't leave too much charring around the edges and uh, gives a nice clean crisp cut. Now once we've got it uh, all cut out, all the components, we can start uh, assembling together with some wood glue. Now you can, if you want to, use acrylic and some uh, acrylic uh, welding uh, a solution to make this uh, game board. And the same with the tokens. If you decide to make the tokens, you can make them out of uh, three millimeter acrylic and just do the two different sets in different colors. I decided just to use the three millimeter MDF and some spray paint and I spray painted uh, one set green and the other set I spray painted yellow. Now this is uh, uncertain times and we've all been asked to stay at home unless it's necessary. So this little project is uh, going to keep you and your family entertained while we're uh, battling with this pandemic that's going on at the moment. Uh, if you did like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified when I release new videos. Now I hope you and your family uh, stay safe and well during this time and until next time, take care. Cheers.